So this is my uh, kitchen backsplash. I already put silicone here, as you can see. As I showed before, and what I'm going to do now, I'm going to put the uh, grout, and I would like to show you the process how to put the uh, grout on a backsplash in the kitchen. The grout I'm using to grout the kitchen backsplash, it's the Ultra Color Plus FA from FA. This grout is superb, again, small than mildew, and it doesn't need to be sealed. It also doesn't have enough, it doesn't have sand inside him, a little bit of sand, uh, so it can go to side of 116 inch with no problem, and it can use in stone, porcelain, and even metal, and glass. So that's what I'm using, this superb grout from a pay. So these are the three floors that I may use, okay? This is a big floor, as you can see it's actually flat here, and it's strong. It's the same floor but it's shorter because to a place that uh, is very difficult to access, you can use this. And that floor is a little bit different, it's actually flexible, as you can see. Sometimes when some places you can use this one also. It's quite nice when the plate is not flat. Okay, so this this floor is going to be okay. Here, what I did is I put a blue tape. You know, the, the tape that we use for paint uh, to protect the granite from the grout as necessary. So here I prepare the grout. It's here. And I'm going to use the grout. I'm going to put. I have the grout here on this floor thing. Okay, and now I want to show you this. I'm just going to move it like that and force it in. Okay. There is a mess a little bit on the mosaic, you can see, but you clean it very easily with the floor. And you, you, are, you must make sure that all the grout will go in. And then 45 degrees. You also notice I took the electrical cover here. That's very important also. Now I can go in this direction here. I have to press the grout into these holes, otherwise it won't go in. And then use 45 degrees, just clean it. Okay, to see if it's clean, just to clean it because that was this, this plot actually. And you press it falsely inside. Sometimes you have places that you difficult to access with a big trowel, so you can use a small trowel just to access it. Okay, after I put in this area quite a bit of gravel, I will try to cover some of it just to clean by cleaning it. See what I'm doing, I'm actually trying to clean what I can with this flower. 
it is actually clotting. So I just took like to reclaim what is not needed. And I'm using 45 degrees for it. Okay, I think I reclaim all of it. After I finish it, now I'm going to use the sponge uh, to clean it. Okay, so here I prefer uh, two buckets of water, of uh, clean water. And what I want to show you, I want to show you what I'm doing with this uh, sponge. This sponge I'm going to use to clean the grout from the mosaic or from the backsplash. What I want to show you is before I'm going to clean it, I'm going to put in the water inside and then I'm going to squeeze all the water out of it. As you can see what I'm doing here. I don't need any water on that because water, if the water is going to penetrate in the grout, they will going to make the grout weak and then the grout will disintegrate it over the years. So that's what you want to make sure that water is not adding to the grout. So I already prepared three sponge that are wet but I really don't have a lot of water in. And I'm just going to clean the area. This is the second one now. And you will see in a minute how nice it's going to look like. See how much grout here. Same thing here. That's the third one here. I'll continue cleaning it with a clean sponge. And I'm changing the side of the sponge to the clean side. And I'm using a circle, circle motion to see what I'm doing. The second one. Look what I'm doing here. I'm taking this sponge, move it here, and then flip it to the other side, and then move it here. Okay, so you can see how much scout it is in two places. Now I can use this side and this side, this side and this side, all of them clean. Just move it like this, move it like this, like this. The trick is to get the grout out and to force the grout in and smooth it. And that's going to happen very soon. This is the last time I actually just clean it. And you can see it's starting to get a shape, a very nice route on a mosaic backsplash. <laughs> 